Hey, I'm Renee, but you can call me Blade. And this is the Oh My God Show. <laughs> okay, I have been MIA and I'm really, really sorry for that. But before I go into anything, I just want to give you an update. Ooh, I am gaining weight, so therefore I have decided to take matters into my own hands and started going to the, the, the gym and I have also started to actually like actually go on a real diet so yes yeah, so for the next about two to three months I shall be well I intend to go to the gym indefinitely but you know to stick with this particular diet that I am on because I you would have probably a person who are accustomed to watching my web show you know, probably know about my endometriosis update because I have endometriosis stage 4 and I have ovarian cyst and I recently did surgery and after surgery I was placed on Depo-Provera and Lucran injection for 3 months and then now I have to spend another 3 months on Lucran injection and I have been going through some of the signs and symptoms associated with being on blue crown injection and i read them some of them are not so nice but at least i don't have to deal with the constant pain the constant pelvic pain and so that i have to deal with so next couple of months i will probably give you an update but if you are somebody who is suffering from endometriosis however or you've had surgery or you're on that particular injection you could always email me I think I may put my email address or one of my email addresses that you can um, get in touch with me or you could just message me on YouTube and then I will try to see or make a comment on the video and I will try to see if I can get back to you on the issue but I don't want to bore everybody else with details of our endometriosis story anyway yes that is it and I have been going through one of the biggest Biggest, biggest and hardest stages of my life I have challenges on all sides but even in the midst of my challenges and in the midst of what I am going through you know this song keep going back and back I mean or being played over in my mind and the song says that my God is awesome you know he will hide me from the rain he will hide me from the rain and I know that I serve an awesome God and even when my situation is not awesome that does not mean that God is not awesome. And when things don't work out in my favor, that doesn't mean that God is not awesome. So I just want to take time out for all of us to just remember that no matter what is happening in our lives, it does not change who God is. Because God is constant. God is love. God loves us. And he loves the persons that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. But at the same time, we are required, especially as Christians, to set an example and to be different and to stand out not in a bad way but in a, in a positive way and I am gonna be very honest with you sometimes I find that very very difficult you know sometimes you just wanna lash out or sometimes you just wanna you know somebody hurt you and you just wanna hurt the person back or you just wanna avoid the person and you just wanna do that but God does not really advocate for any of those things and um, I was thinking this evening you know I was thinking about the fact that you know what is it that is so big that we can't give up for God? There is a story in, in um, Genesis that I've always wanted to talk to you about and it's the story of Abraham. Abraham grew up in a situation where people didn't, they worship idols, you know, his father worshipped idols. But Abraham decided that he was going to seek after God and he found God. And eventually when he found, finally got his son, he got one son first, um, but it wasn't his wife's child, Ishmael, and then he got his well, let me not say real son, but his biological, well, yeah, the wife, the child of his, of his wife, yes, that God had promised to him. He, eventually, his wife, in her old age, got pregnant, and even when she got pregnant, she also, you know, gave birth to the child, apparently they both loved the child. However, one particular time, day or night, I'm not sure what time, um, God spoke to him and told him to give up that one child you know that give up that one child for god and he went to the extent of actually going he was actually going to kill the child before the, uh, a voice from heaven told him to not kill the child because god would provide himself a lamb 
for the burnt offering you know meaning that God realized at that point I guess that Abraham was willing to sacrifice anything for the love that he had for God even the very own only son that, that he really loved so much right he was this only son but he loved that son very much now God eventually came down here and he died for our sins as well and when I think about my personal life you know today I was really thinking about it and I said you know what my pride or anything that I have or anything that I love is that too good to give up for the sake of the gospel and I think that I have I have like a, a serious spiritual breakthrough at this point you know where I believe that God God will eventually sort things out in your life if somebody's on your case or whatever is the situation but don't become the devil that persons may want to force you to become or don't become the devil that the devil is trying to force you to become you know what I mean so I feel very happy tonight knowing that I am still here you know still standing still trusting in God irrespective of what persons might think or say or do to me and it's not my you see we can act you know we can even act the right way but if our heart is not at the place then that is where we have a problem and that is what you know I will always tell my best friend that you know my main problem is my soul you know you might not worry about losing your husband or you might not worry about losing you know your job or you might not worry about losing whatever it is that is placed before you because everything is temporal and material but then we only have one soul that can actually last for eternity the only difference are our spirit and that is gonna make the what makes the difference is where we will in turn spend eternity so that is my update so for persons who I want to I don't want to promise but I'm trying to do more probably nutrition related so basically what I try to do is the main one of the most okay I work in the field of nutrition so I have an idea here right so just take my advice as it relates to nutrition you want to definitely not skip your breakfast because when you skip your breakfast you're setting up yourself to gain weight and you're setting up yourself for all sorts of troubles hopefully one day I will be able to go deeper into that so me for me personal I like to look at the man in the mirror or the girl in the mirror right <laughs> and I want to know how to improve on my personal situation and what it is that I you know want and I cannot I don't I wouldn't feel comfortable with myself if I just allow myself to as they say just let yourself go one point on on weight some persons wait until they're like really really heavy and they're out of weight and everybody noticing and then the person start complaining yes I'm I may look to most persons you know high your height or you may be like gain a little weight but the thing is I'm, I'm still not like considered to be in an unhealthy weight range but then when I feel my clothes you can always know the difference when you if, you, if your clothes start getting tight and you can hardly get into clothes or like I, I don't like when I'm in my clothes and I feel like the clothes so tight that you feel like you're stifling you're not supposed to be it's not supposed to be that tight and I'm not gonna be the type of person to just go get bigger clothes I want to fit back into my jeans so to speak so I have started ensuring that I have my breakfast and then sometimes you know you get lazy and you don't want to prepare breakfast so you run out without your breakfast but then what I do find is that having cereal you know especially like brand cereal and, and anything that has brand it's very filling with probably low fat milk or soy milk and you have that and trust me I, I actually feel full for a very much longer time uh, when I do that and in addition to that I am also exercising so yes I am on a particular hormone that may you know cause me to naturally want to gain weight because of the situation however I have to take steps and if I still do without with you know even taking steps and I, I won't I won't freak out because you know at the end of the day God knows best and each of us have our lives but at the same time I like to do my part and if I do my part if I eat right if I exercise if I'm going to the gym or hanging out with persons who actually exercise and um, just be myself basically then I should be able to be okay because then again another thing that can can cause people to gain weight is stress so I'm trying also to monitor my stress level but at the end of the day no matter what you're going through God is still awesome he's an awesome God who has done awesome things for me who can do awesome things for you as well so all you have to do is just hang in there no matter what is going on with you in your life and I'm speaking from somebody who's been there and is probably going through stuff but at the same time my situation as I said before does not change who God is so therefore we have 
nothing to do in our situation but to just draw closer to God, just draw closer to Him, just pray more, just read your Bible more, just be in His Word more. And He is able to love you past your pain. I'm Blaine, I'm cutting. Bye! See you next time!